Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Welcome to another interesting video. So it's been a long time. Uh, I was held up with some other uh, official works, but I'm back. So today in this video, we're going to see one interesting thing about uh, uh, regular expression in uh, IBM I. Okay. Because one of the, one of my friend recently asked, uh, can we do a email validation uh, in RPG early, right? So how do we check if a email is a valid email or not? So in my initial thought was, okay, we can write our custom logic. Like, uh, is the uh, email ID having a proper at symbol, then followed by some wordings, and then there's some dot, those things. But the easiest way is to use the regular expression, right? So I know we can use regular expression for email validation, but I never knew that we can do that in RPG early. So today we're gonna see a SQL function called regular expression count, okay? So this is the function, uh, which is the inbuilt function available in our DB2. Okay, so how we can use this? If we come bottom right, uh, okay, something like this. So basically, this regular expression count function takes two arguments. One is actually the string on which we need to find the pattern. Then second is the pattern itself. So to understand this better, let's go with some examples. Okay, so I'm in pub 400. I'm going to SQL. So here, uh, as you know that we can type values to evaluate a particular expression in SQL, right? So say for example, current time. So this will give me the current timestamp. Like that, what I'm going to do values. Yeah, we can do it two ways. So one is this way, like select something from sysibm.system dot one. Okay. We can also do something like this. So select uh, sorry values. Uh, regexp underscore count this is a function and the first argument is actually the string so i'm going to give my name okay. second is uh, second argument is two is a regular expression itself so i'm giving as of now a character m so basically i'm going to search m in that whole string so if you see the result i get one because there is only one m here but there are some smaller trims but that is not there uh, if, you, if you want to give something like this, right? So this is uh, regular expression uh, syntax, which tells that you can search for either a capital M or a small M. So in this case, I'll get three, right? Because I have uh, one, two, and then three. So we we can have variety of regular expression uh, syntax to play around. So say, for example, I say A to Z. So this will search for all capital letters from A to Z. So in this, Thing we have two capital letters, right? One is M, one is Y. So I get the count two. So we can go like this. Uh, maybe I, if you want, tell me I can have a separate video, right? Uh, about the regular expression syntax and then so on. But today, uh, as part of the email validation, what we are going to do, I'm not going to write from scratch because it is available already on the internet. So if I search for it, right, I'll get it. Uh, so let's go and then see something like uh, uh, email regular regex okay so this should give us a regular expression so if we go here okay okay so we got this one so let me copy this and uh, let's use this one okay so basically uh, i'm going to test one uh, email and i'm going to have this regular expression okay so here if we examine this right so it tells that first we should have some uh, word then there is art symbol then that can be another some uh, words and then there's a dot then it can have another uh, word like that okay so if it's execute this right, I get the option uh, value one because it finds one match with this regular expression so it's a valid email so if we say for example if we take out uh, if we put another art Okay, then I get a count as zero. And then which means this uh, string is not matching with our email uh, regular expression. So now you get the idea, right? So using the regular expression, we can find if a particular email ID is a valid or not. It is not uh, limited to email ID. We can do uh, like any pattern matching you want with respect to regular expression. Now, uh, how do you use this in the program? So I have written a sample program uh, called val mail id it's a sql rpg only. so here you can see okay one more thing uh, sometimes the ccd will be wrong in pub 400 you can see there is something like this okay so to correct this what i will do 
change of ccsid 37 so if you do that it will be corrected okay so here what i'm doing as usual i'm having two variables okay one is to hold the email id another is actually hold the regular expression and here i'm using uh, a sql function directly on and to retrieve the count into a variable called cnt okay so count is equal to regular expression count of the email id comma the regular expression so this should give me the result into this variable and if you get a value one then it's a valid email else it's not a valid email so that's it so if you want to test this one uh, val mail id right so call qcmd call val mail id so here i'll get a bad mail id because of what because i have two what okay so if i change this to the proper email id i should get valid email id okay so that's how we can handle the regular expression in say the sqlrp jelly i hope uh, this was interesting uh, because i was surprised that uh, okay we can do the regular expression in, in our ibmi also so i hope this helps and you can use this thing for your uh, necessary projects or needs okay i'll see you in the next video with a different concept thanks for watching